Hello and welcome to this new video. If you're new here, my name is Johanna. I'm a physiotherapist, uh, animal physiotherapist and riding instructor. And in this channel we are talking about uh, rider's seat and uh, the horse's well-being of course and all these subjects and I have also uh, give tips for riding and many exercises also that you can do out of the saddles. So if you're interested in those, please subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Okay, in this video we are talking about a um, couple of very common problems when picking up canter and I'm actually going to demonstrate them on my pony. Uh, so um, these two are a couple of things that I see a lot when teaching riding. And uh, they are also quite often connected. So one thing often leads to another. So now let me jump on the pony and uh, we'll Take a look. So one thing that I often see when riders are trying to pick up the canter is this, that the, uh, the rider is leaning forward. So it's uh, she's, uh, he or she is picking up the canter and then kind of leaning forward like this. It could be just this once or the rider might even try to kind of drive the horse into the canter like this. I'll go, 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 go. So you can guess that it's not going to result in a good uh, canter pickup. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but anyway, I think you know what I mean. Because if we do like this and we're kind of like trying to just drive the horse into the canter, uh, the horse is going to lose balance and even if the horse might pick up the canter, it's not going to be a good one. So our own balance and the control of our body is really, really important when picking up canter. Uh, the other thing, and this is actually what often leads to the first thing I described, is that the riders are not preparing the when they're asking for the canter so they just surprise the horse they're probably just you know turning around and then ah, now canter so the horse is like oh what <laughs> and loses balance so uh, we really need to prepare the transition to canter well so uh, before you ask for the canter check that the horse is actually listening to you so uh, you have enough energy of course we don't want the horse to be running away but we do need to have enough energy so you actually need to feel that uh, before you will ask for the canter that the canter actually can come because often, even before we ask for the counter, we know that the transition is not going to happen. So make sure that you have the feeling that the horse actually can pick up the counter. So enough energy, and then of course half halt. So you get the horse balanced, and then you ask for the counter. So preparation is the key for a good counter transition. And if you're not sure if the horse is really on your edge and listening, I often suggest that you do some transitions. For example, uh, walk, walk, trot, walk, trot, canter transitions. So that's going to make your horse to find a better balance. And it's also going to kind of wake up the horse. So the horse knows that something is going to happen. And then when you have prepared the uh, canter transition, then you just ask for the canter and then you wait for the horse to pick the canter up. So you don't then just try to help the horse, help the horse with like leaning forward or stuff like that. So 
you just sit there, find your own balance, maybe give just a little bit of uh, space with your inside hand so the horse has some space to pick up the canter. But then you, you just don't drive the horse into the canter. You're helping the horse more if you're just sitting, sitting still and giving the aid and then uh, just waiting for the horse to uh, pick up the canter. If it doesn't happen, then it doesn't really matter. matter. Often uh, riders get really frustrated if, if the canter transition doesn't happen the first time. But this is some, uh, something that, uh, especially if you are riding, um, like if you're riding a new horse that you don't know, then uh, it may take some time to find the right way to pick up the canter because the horse, horses are sometimes uh, taught, 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 <laughs> taught a little bit differently how to, what are the aids for the canter transition. So don't get frustrated if the first one is not perfect then you know just find the balance and try again. It's really that simple. Well, I think that's it for today. Um, please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye!